Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you the steps and tips in solving system of equations using substitution method. Substitution method is a method of solving system of equations where we isolate one of the variables, this variable could either be x or y, and we substitute or plug this into the other equation in order that we can solve for the variables. That's where the word substitution method comes from. Now to better understand these, we're, I'm going to show you an example right here. So we get y equals 5x minus 7. I created a um, card for this to make it more visual. It's what's going on. And the other equation that we have would be 2x plus 3y equals 13. And then I also created another uh, card for this. Now, this is the first step. The, uh, we are supposed to solve for the equation in terms of x or y. So in this problem that we have here, we already have an equation where y is by itself. So we're good on the first step. Now the second step is to substitute the equation from step one. So the one that we got. So we already have this. We already have this um, isolated uh, y uh, variable. So we're going to substitute this equation to the other equation that we have, which is the second equation right here. What I'm trying to do here is that we get a y. So we say that y is equals to 5x minus 7. So then the y that we have here, since this is equal to y, we can put the y right there. We can cover it and it's still y. And we know that this y is actually equal to 5x minus 7. So what I'm going to do is I will plug this 5x minus 7 into the y. So instead of putting y in there, I will put the 5x minus 7. So what was done is that I plugged it in or I substituted the 5x minus 7 since that is equal to y. So what's going on here is that we are um, taking this 5x minus y, I mean minus 7, 5x minus 7, and putting it into the y since that this whole thing, this orange one is equal to the y. And that's where we, that's what we mean by substitution method. So the equation that we can have here would be 2x plus 3. And then I put a parenthesis. Now I give you this tip here. When we substitute a value to a variable, which it can be either x or y, we change the variable first into a parenthesis before we plug in the values. So in this case right here, I changed the y into a parenthesis first, so I don't mess up with the math. So then I can go ahead and um, equal this to 13, and then from here I will plug it in. So that's the tip. When we substitute or plug in a value to a variable, either x or y, we change the variable first into a parenthesis before we plug in. So we get, I'm going to put this 5x minus 7 here. So it's going to be 5x minus 7. The third step is to solve this new equation. So then from here, I can go ahead and distribute the uh, 3 to each of the terms inside the parentheses. Now, here's the thing. Others miss this part. They only multiply the 3 to the 5. It should, that's oh, not the correct no. way to do it. It should be to both of them. So this one will be, dis the 3 will be distributed to both terms inside the parentheses. So then our um, equation would come out 2x plus 3 times 5x would be 15x. And then 3 times negative 7 is negative 21 is equal to 13. And then from here, we can combine like terms. So we have 2x and 15x, and that would come out 17x. That's minus 21 equals 13. So then we want x by itself. So then we can add 21 to both sides. So plus 21. So this would come out. We can cross this out. So that is 17x is equal to 34. So then from here, we're going to divide 17 from both sides. So divide by 17, divide this by 17. So then we are left with x is equal to so the value of x that we have is 2 and that is part of the third step. What we did was just third step. We solve for this equation and whatever we get, that's, uh, that's part of the third step. So we already have an x is equal to 2. Now the fourth step here is to plug this x or we substitute. The other word for plug in is substitute. So we substitute this value that we got here 
into one of the equations that we have here. It doesn't matter which of those equations that you would use, um, but looking at this, we can actually plug this into the uh, first equation right away. So we can go ahead and multiply five times two would be 10 minus seven, it's three. That's, that's pretty straightforward. We can get the y from there, but I'm gonna show you the other um, equation right here. Again, both equations should work. It doesn't matter which of the which of these two you would use for step four, but I'm gonna use the second one right here. So that is two x plus three y equals thirteen. And uh, again, we're gonna plug in the x. So then, before we plug in again, the tip is when we substitute or plug in a value to a variable, either x or y, we change the variable into a parenthesis first before we plug in the value. So that would be two parentheses plus 3y equals 13. Again, our target here is to solve for y. So then from here, I can go ahead and put two over here. So I plug it in. So this would come out four plus 3y equals 13. We want y by itself because we already have solved for x. So I'm gonna subtract four from both sides minus four. So then we can cross the four out. So we're left with 3y equals, this is gonna be nine. So then from here, we can divide both sides by three, divide this by three. So then we are left with y is equal to three. So then our solution to this um, system of equation that we have here in uh, coordinate form would be two and three. This value has two meanings here. So first, this value means that if we plug in the x and y to the equation, it would make the equation true. Or that means both sides of the equation be equal to each other. The other interpretation for this is this 2, 3 is actually the point of intersection between these two lines when they are graphed on the same x and y axis. So at this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over this problem here. I created the card for each of these equations. I'm gonna start with the first card right there. Negative five X plus Y equals um, negative two. And the other card right here is X equals two Y plus 13. Again, the first step is to solve one of the equations in terms of X and Y. So in looking at this equation right here, we already have X that is isolated by itself. So we're ready to go. We're done with the first step. Now, the second step is to substitute the equation from step one to the other equation. So we're gonna substitute this. So the one that we're gonna be using is this 2y plus 13, since that is equal to x. I will plug this in here to the x. So pretty much like since we say that x is equal to 2y plus 13, I can go ahead and put the x right there. Since that x is equal to 2y plus 13, so I, then I can go ahead and plug this in as well over there. So then our equation would come out to be, that's gonna be negative five. Again, the tip is when you substitute or plug in a value to a variable, either X or Y, we change the variable first into a parenthesis before we plug in the value. So once we plug in this one over here, so I'm gonna change the X first into a parenthesis, and then that's gonna be plus Y, is equal to negative two. So then again, this um, X that I uh, wrote here was made into a parenthesis, so I'm gonna plug in this two Y plus 13. So that's two Y plus 13. So then from here, we distribute the negative five. Again, be sure that it's both of them because others distributed it only to the oh, first one. No. It has to be to both of them. The third step is to solve this new equation. So then we can um, come up with negative 10y and then negative five times um, 13 would be a negative 65. So this is negative 65 plus y equals negative two. So then we can combine like terms here. So that would be um, negative 10y and we have a positive y. So when we add those two together, that would come out negative 9y minus 65 is equal to negative two. So then from here, we add 65 from both sides. So plus 65 plus 65, because we want the y by itself. So then from here, we can go ahead and um, have negative 9y is equal to positive 63. 
So then we are going to divide both sides by negative 9. Divide this by negative 9. So then our y is equal to negative 7. Again, this is the third step. The third step is to solve this, to solve the equation that we got from here, whatever that variable is, that's part of the third equation. Now, the fourth equation is to solve, the, to substitute, we plug in whatever we got here, we plug in the value that we got here to any of the two original equations that we got here to solve for the other variable. So in this case right here, you can use x right away. So we, you can just plug in the y right there to solve for x, but I'm gonna show you the second equation. Again, you can choose any of these, but I'm gonna show you the second other thing. Like, well, how do we use if we don't, if we don't wanna use the x here, because this, this is pretty straightforward. What about if I use this? Would, would it come out the same answer? It should come out the same answer. So in this um, equation that we have here, again, the tip is when you plug in the value um, or substitute the value to a variable, either x or y, change the variable into a parentheses before you plug in whatever value that is. So in this case right here, I'm gonna have negative 5x. Again, the value that we're uh, gonna plug in would be y. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say plus parentheses is equal to negative two. And then whatever that value is, I put it in here, negative seven. So then I'll just do the math. So this would be negative five X. This is negative seven equals negative two. So then we can go ahead and we want X by itself. So we're gonna add seven from both sides and then plus seven. So this would come out. This, uh, we can cross this out first. So that is negative five X is equal to five, so then from here, we are going to divide both sides by negative five, divide this by negative five, so then we are left with x is equal to negative one. Again, if we use the second equation, the x would still be negative one. It doesn't really matter which uh, of those two equations that you're gonna use to solve for the other variable. Now, the point of intersection or the solution to this would be negative one, negative seven. So this is the point of intersection. Did you get the same answer as this? Good. Perfect. Now let's move on to the third example here. So this is the third example at this time. I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we're gonna go over the problem here. So again, the first step is to solve one of the um, equation in terms of X and Y. So looking at this, none of the equations has actually X or Y isolated by itself. So we're gonna have one of the equations um, um, isolated, either x or y, it doesn't really matter. So let's use this second equation right here. So if I were to rearrange this, so I can have y by itself, I can go ahead, again, you can have x by itself as well, that should be fine. So I can go ahead and subtract 4x from both sides, minus 4x, minus 4x. So then we are left with, so we can cross this out, so that's 2y is equal to negative 4x plus now, here's the thing. Others are going to think that this is 2 minus 4 is a negative 2x. Remember, that is not the right way to do it. Remember, these are unlike terms. That means we can't add them together. So that should be negative 4x plus 2. And then from here, we want y. We need to isolate one of the variables. I want to isolate the y. So we're going to divide both sides by 2. We're going to divide this by 2 and divide this by 2 here. So then this would come out. y is equal to negative 2x plus one. And this is actually the equivalent um, equation for this would be y equals negative 2x plus one. So the uh, equations that we're gonna be uh, using here are these two equations. So it's gonna be these two. So we, since none of them have been isolated, so we had to, we had to do some, uh, we had to do the first step first. Okay, so what are we gonna do now is we uh, go to the second step, we substitute the equation that we got from the first step to the other equation. So looking at this, um, I have a card here that would show this uh, more visually. So we have here, I, I, I created three x minus y equals nine is the first one. The second equation was negative two x plus one, so that's equal to y. So whatever, what I'm gonna do is, since y is equal to y, I can cover that up, and that's the same thing. But since this blue one, y equals here, is actually equal to two x plus one, so I can go ahead and put that in there. So then again, we can take this one right here, 
This part right here will be substituted to the y. And then again, the uh, so then we can go ahead and write this first equation. So the first equation is gonna look up three x minus, again, remember the tip, when we substitute or plug in a value to a variable, either x or y, we change the variable into a parentheses before we plug in the value. So in this case, I'm gonna change this y into a parentheses. And then that is equal to nine. So then I am going to put in the negative 2x plus one into the parentheses. And then from here, we're gonna distribute this negative to each term. So this is where the, uh, putting it in parentheses first would help when we do the math because we are supposed to distribute this to both terms inside the parentheses. Others are distributing it onto the first one. That is not the correct way to do it. It has to be to both of them. So our equation would come out 3x plus 2x minus 1 equals 9. So then from here, we can go ahead and um, combine like terms. So we have 3x plus 2x. So we can combine these two. So these are like terms. because Both of them have um, x on them. So this becomes 5x. I'm just going to use this pen right here. So that becomes 5x minus 1 equals 9. So then we want x by itself. So I'm just going to go ahead and add 1 from both sides. 1 here. So then we go ahead and we're left with 5x is equal to 10. So then we're going to divide 5 to both sides because we want x by itself. So divide 5. So then we go ahead and have x is equal to 2. So this is the value of x. Now we are ready to um, determine the value of y. This is the third step right here. We solve whatever equation we have and solve for the variable. Now the third Third, I mean, um, now the fourth step is to substitute the value that we got here into one of the equations. It doesn't matter which of these equations you would want to use. You can use this or you can use this one. Any of these three would work. So then, but then we are going to use the first one here. So that would come out. Again, the tip is when we substitute or plug in a value to a variable x or y, change the variable into a parentheses first before you plug in the value. So in this case right here, I'm using this to solve for y. So this equation would come out three parentheses minus y is equal to nine. So then we know that our x was uh, two, so I plug that in here. So that's two right there. So then we can go ahead and say this is equal to six minus y is equal to nine. So then we want y by itself. So minus six from both sides, minus six. So we are left with negative y is equal to, uh, that's gonna be three. So then from here, we go ahead and since that's a negative y, we go ahead and divide negative one from both sides, divide negative one. So then we are left with y is equal to negative three. So that is equal to negative three. Okay, so this means that the point of intersection between these two lines right here, when graphed on x and y axis, on the same axis, so this would be, this would come out to negative three. Again, this is the point of intersection, or this value means that if we plug in both x and y into the original equation, it would make the equation true. That means both sides of the equation would be equal to each other. Did you get the same answer as this? Good, perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!